Hello and welcome back everyone to Unreal Tournament 2004 on Rocket Rabbit Commentaries and in this episode we'll be continuing on through the bombing run ladder in the Unreal Tournament 2004 campaign up against the Hellions at Twin Tombs. Twin Tombs is a map that we've already played because the majority of the, of the bombing run maps have already been uh, are also for Capture the Flag. So yeah. Although I will say that, as Pascal that mentions here, the scaling difficulty really starts to take hold at Twin Tombs. Come on, use the assault rifle, successfully kill Ray. Cargo's got the ball. Now I've got the ball. Take this ball and take it all. Mm. Thankfully, Twin Tombs is a, is a level that we actually get to survive after we score. At least some, at least usually. Ahem, like so. Yep, so it's a touchdown game. Well, it uh, speeds up the game. I mean, I've I've seen a lot of like, well, okay, so clearly, the, I mean, the, the scoring mechanism in this game is clearly based on like, well, football would be the, American football would be the closest game example. Football, uh, American football and soccer specifically. But so, no, soccer is point by point though. You can't, you can't score more yeah, than one point. Yeah, soccer is point by point, but this game, this game, uh, if you're playing it efficiently, is also technically point by point. Yeah, it when just a, it just uses a different, it just uses different numerals for yeah, it. Yeah, when they, I got stuck. How the hell did you get stuck in your own goal? And you forced no, a field goal. No, I didn't get stuck goal. in my goal. I got stuck. I got stuck. I got stuck in their goal. Uh, now, uh, as I was saying, so sometimes the, the level geometry doesn't like you. So the scoring system. That is how I got stuck. Geometry. One of the great problems. Even in real life, human beings have to appreciate that the shortest distance between two points is a fucking straight line. <laughs> yeah, but you know, sometimes sometimes that straight line is is actually a jagged line and, our, and your model doesn't know how the fuck to respond to it. Or sometimes that straight line is a fucking 52 yard rush to the end zone because the fucking secondary moved up too far. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. So yeah, this this game is supposed to be uh, about mad that, points. But go on. No, yes, please note that if you manage to survive the round uh, during uh, during round reset, you will be fully healed. You won't get any shield, sadly. And I think um, and I think and although any uh, shield that you have will will carry over. Hmm. Oh. Go behind the assault wave. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe the truth is that they're not trying to punish you for getting touchdowns. They're trying to reinforce you getting touchdowns. Behold, reinforcement. Four, three, two, one. Steal their adrenaline. Yeah, uh, it's it's why I actually like the CTF version of Twin of Twin Tombs more because the addition the addition of the jump pad at the at the uh, start of, at the start of the base gives it uh, a little bit more a uh, little bit more mobility and speed going through here. Yeah, yeah. teabag your goal. Uh oh. Lauren got injured. Oh well. Uh, we have we effectively have infinite money because we keep winning, so. Alright. Put some money in it. Let's go to Ice Fields. I fucking hate this Remember map. Ice time. Fields is an, a very interesting map in that it is a uh, large enough to where it has it has us two uh, has two specific pathways Play. to get to get to get to the goals. However, Neither of those pathways can be act, can be effectively used by the uh, by the person carrying the ball as they are both translo translo uh, translocator uh, heavy pathways. Shoot, well, Jesus! Yeah, you can say that again. Mm. Translocator is fucking amazing. Translocator is fucking amazing, and and if you are on any difficulty other than novice, you will. This is the part of the ladder that they, they will say, "Okay, you have the translocator. Or you better know how the fuck to use it now." Because, goddamn, look at how long this goddamn run is, okay? You have to get into the enemy's base, take this elevator up, walk around the goddamn, no, walk around the goddamn pole, and yes, if you do not walk around the pole, they'll just kill you on your way in, and then attempt to score. All right, next round. New round in five, five four, four, 
Three, Hide. Two, one. Let's go. We had escaped justice for now. <laughs> what well, needs the shoe right. and all I got to do is poo. Mm, here we go. Yeah, this is pretty ridiculous. You have the ball. Someone fired the redeemer. You have Damn the it. ball. They have the ball. I had the ball. I had the ball, but then I got hit by a redeemer shell. So, yeah. Uh, Talk about fumble I recovery. Do like, I do like the graphic, <laughs> uh, the, gra the aesthetic appeal of ice fields. The uh, the uh, the cold environment. How uh, the the uh, the jagged the jagged passes. The multiple the multiple pathways. Um, honestly. Uh, as a as a level, Ice Fields is actually really fun to play in. But as part of the campaign, this map fucking blows. Yeah, I can see that. Defend the Karak! Defend the Karak! Protect the ball. <laughs> I need no! backup. Our Karak has been slain. Okay. Go, Remus. Er, Lauren, yes, Lauren, go. Oh boy, they're gonna get the ball. All right. Well, Lauren scolded Goral. She decided to shoot it though, so we only got three points for it. Huh. I have no ammo left on my shock rifle. I wonder if, well, is it, can the AI score touchdowns on this the, map? The AI can sco score touchdowns, but it will usually, uh, but it usually will not. Huh. <laughs> I see, because it's a projectile-based algorithm, in addition to a can-I-complete-the-route algorithm. Yeah. Because it takes logical reasoning to realize, a human level of logical re reasoning to realize that you can complete the pathway if only you cause the elevator to go up. Huh. Um, I'm not entirely sure... If if the elevator is the big issue, I think the the big issue is actually the fact that the uh, that the goal is on top. Right, but if the, you if the goal hmm. if the goal was uh if the goal was actually on the ground, then I'm pretty sure they they might actually they would uh, uh attempt to do uh, touchdowns more. Often. Yes, but and that's pathing. So the pathing to an AI at the moment is non-existent. But behold, because you cause a dynamic situation by standing there, the, the AI is not smart enough to know that. You are. Alright, trigger booster, and let's go. We also at the start of every round I'm asking I'm asking um, at least one of my uh, teammates uh, to cover me uh, as I go as I go for the uh, as I go for the ball. Yeah, you, I mean, by the way you move, Gerda, I honestly can't believe how your teammates beat you to the ball. All right, here we go. Well, the, one of the uh, team, one of the uh, team spawning zones is actually just uh, just outside of our base, and uh, it's it pretty much a direct line from that spawn point uh, to the ball. Need more you see, ammo. what I showed off there was the uh, was the ability We're to actually shoot, uh, shoot the ball in order to get access to your oh, weapons. Shit, uh, get, uh, access to your weapons again. But as you'll notice, I only got like one shot off before I had not before I picked up the ball again. So. Jesus Christ! Honestly, you probably should not have survived that return. Yeah, that's what the wall is there for. Yeah, <sighs> health regen. We'll shut the door on your goose egg. Crab out it, son. We are steamrolling these clowns. Uh, no. I mean, it looks like we're steamrolling, but we're not. They're actually putting up a, a significantly better fight than what I'm showing off. Right, because now the game well, You don't has get to see harder. the uh, large amount of fucking explosions that are happening behind me. <laughs> and that's because I'm not looking that way. Oh, I don't no, want to look nothing, at all the large there. amount of rocket launchers Just and shock rifles run. being fired at me. Just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. Nobody's shooting me. Just keep running. Just keep... Oh, shit. Here they come. <laughs> <laughs> and there. <laughs> Woo! We perfected ice fields. Ah, God. 31 to nothing. I hate ice fields. Now that that is some that is some college level sports right there. I tell you what. 
All right, we got a head-to-head to, head to go into. Are we going to go to a dome or a spirit? We're going to the spirit. Okay. You've been challenged. If you refuse the match, what the F are you D? So we have to go up against Brock, the uh, le the leader of 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 Iron Guard. Play. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I too, as as present guard, I wish that we could actually recruit uh, uh, team captains uh, onto our squad. Uh. That would be so nice. It would it would objectively break the teams though. Is the big problem. So, and the fact of the matter is, you're supposed to uh, attempt to be playing against. Uh, Oh, uh, you're you're supposed to be spending the campaign playing against um, the the teams uh, the uh, the other teams as much as you can in order to gain additional credits. But I don't really see the need to gain additional credits like for anything because there's nothing to spend them on aside from additional blood rights challenges. Well, uh, I suppose that's where the game puts the <laughs> puts the ball in the player's court that. They, that th now it's on the player to decide if the game is interesting enough in order to continue because the game is just rewarding you with with more games. And the ability to sever Brock's legs out from underneath him. For example, Dark Souls 3, which uh, this place definitely heavily reminds me of the Firelink Shrine um, by the way it sprawls out and it's uh, colored in grayscale like this. Also uh, challenges the player to crave the gameplay enough to continue, because of course the game rewards you with even more games as you as you game. <laughs> okay. So, you see, I was thinking Undead Bird to be perfectly honest. If we were gonna if we were gonna throw Dark Souls stuff out uh, out out here. Only that it, we're playing inside the Firelink Shrine. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> This is honestly a pretty good piece of music. I don't actually listen to most of the uh, of the Unreal Tournament's uh, OST outside outside of the game, sadly. But uh, while whilst I'm in game, I really do enjoy uh, a majority of the, of the tracks here. Oh yeah, the there are several tracks. That, there are several tracks that are effectively just muted though, and I really don't understand what what happens to them, uh, why that is. Yeah, the music is pretty kick ass. <laughs> Uh, Come on, Brock. Where are you? See, this. Uh, the, see, if we're if this is the track we're listening to, then this is Act Two of the movie when we are finally resolving our dramatic differences with Brock. He need only just set aside our pettiness and join us in our battle. In, in Act Three, we finally take on E Minor. Uh, I don't know. E minor, e, e minor isn't really a, a, a key that I consider all that villainous. Well, it's not villainous because that's the key you hear when the hero triumphs over the villain. See, the villain actually has his best moments in the keys of either A minor or B minor. I, no, no, I always, I always assumed that uh, vill uh, villainous tracks were supposed to be the heavier G tones, but. Be prepared. Yes, my teeth and ambitions are bad. A, a minor fifth. <laughs> Which actually, I think it would be E major into A minor. <laughs> ah, music theory. I'm not good at music theory. Not a lot Mind of people you, are. I've been, I've mentioned that before. I'm not saying so. I'm good at it. I'm just saying that I, I mean I, I mean I talk about it. I guess <laughs> I'm the only one I know who does. <laughs> Whoosh. Like, um, uh, oh, well, what we score? What? What are the two points left, and then we win the duel? Yeah. Just to be thorough. Yeah, two points left, <laughs> and then and then we will. Uh, and then we will be uh, done with uh, this one-on-one. -on -one. And all for the sake of being thoroughly clear that a winner has been decided. <laughs> yeah. Whoosh. 
We have effectively as much ammo as we can get for for everything except our assault rifle. And the uh, big reason why we haven't gotten any more assault rifle ammo is because, well, Brock hasn't died building an assault rifle. <laughs> I think this is one of the few maps that doesn't actually have uh, any ammo spawns for the assault rifle. So. And at this point, I'm just, I'm just cheesing, saying, all right, all right, you got me. You got me. Good game. Good game. Oh, that's it. You, you're, you're a tricky one. You're a tricky one. I gotta try harder next time. <laughs> Where did he go? I saw him, and now he is gone again. Oh, well, I finally go get over my deficit. All right, all right. <laughs> Look at my body parts flying everywhere. Good game. <laughs> that was fun. All right. Be safe, everybody.